the Lagos State Government has set up a 2 billion naira emergency relief fund to assist victims of Sunday's explosion at Abuleado area of the state. Governor Babajide Sonwolu announced the establishment of the Abuleado Emergency Relief Fund during a visit to the scene of the explosion. Given the level of destruction and damage that I've seen, I have set up Abule Ado, Ado Sova Emergency Relief Fund. I have set that up and it's a two billion naira relief fund. And the state government will immediately be putting 250 million naira in that fund. And overnight, I have gotten three banks to open accounts for that fund. And what are we trying to achieve? This is certainly beyond what the state government can undertake on its own. This is beyond what the government, being at the national or state, can also overtake at its own. And so what this fund will do is to give everybody the opportunity to be part of it and to be able to donate into it. And just for you to know that I'm serious and we're committed to it, I have three account numbers already. I have the Polaris Bank that has the account number 4300 Polaris Bank. So the account name that I've given it is Abule Addo Emergency Relief Fund. Any Nigerian that so wish to contribute, have any of these three banks to go to and contribute. Later today, gentlemen of the press, I'll be making an effort to meet with Mr. President. He needs to see and understand the level of the destruction that we have here. And I'll be briefing him and I'll be soliciting for the cooperation and the support of the federal government. Sonwolu also said he had set up a committee headed by the deputy governor to look into the immediate cause of the explosion at Abuleado. Um, that committee will be headed by my deputy, the deputy governor of Lagos State, Dr. Kadri Opafem Hamzat. We will also have the honorable commissioner for special duties as a co-chair of that committee. I will have the honorable commissioner for education because you can see right behind me is a massive institution, a girls' college that has been set to ground zero. So the Honorable Commissioner for Education will be involved. The Honorable Commissioner for Finance will be involved. And the Honorable Commissioner for Environment will also be involved. 